Well, aside from the benefits to, to the ecology, and those are obvious, you know, these are vehicles that don't pollute, but quite aside from that, just to the individual who buys the car, um, these vehicles, uh, the electricity they use is so little, and it costs so little, that, um, it, for instance, if you're driving a, a full-size passenger vehicle and you switched over to an electric vehicle like one of these Teslas, uh, you would be saving thousands of dollars every year in your gasoline bill. Most of the vehicles that are available now, uh, they have a range, for, for instance, the IME has a range uh, somewhere close to uh, 120,000 kilometers. The uh, uh, Nissan LEAF has a range around 150, 160 kilometers. Um, if you get into the Teslas, you can get into a range somewhere over uh, 300 kilometers or up to over 450 kilometers. Uh, so it depends on the kind of driving uh, you're doing as to which uh, vehicle you're going to want to choose. For the long trips, it's it's still not practical in Manitoba to make long trips because we don't have uh, any level 3 fast chargers outside of the city. I think one of the one of the special uh, features of the festival this year is that um, our newest member of the Manitoba Electric Vehicle Association is Manitoba Hydro, and Manitoba Hydro is involved in a research program uh, that really makes them um, unique in uh, in the country. Um, there are only two places in Canada involved in it, and that's British Columbia, and now Manitoba Hydro is also involved. And so um, our vehicle that we have here at the show today from Manitoba Hydro, it's outstanding. It's the largest plug-in hybrid electric cherry picker in the country. We're here representing Ford. We've got two vehicles. We've got the all-electric Ford Focus and the plug-in hybrid electric Ford C-Max. And the C-Max, what's cool about this, if you have any range anxiety with an electric vehicle, this is the car for you because this we could drive to Thunder Bay and back on one tank of gas. It starts off as a fully electric vehicle for about 40 kilometers and then it converts into a uh, regular hybrid uh, gas engine like you're used to. So it can just, it'll sip gas forever and ever. This car is at uh, regular list price is 36 and a half thousand and right now due to uh, employee pricing it's about 33 and a half. Ford, like a lot of manufacturers, have really embraced this is the way things are going and Ford's pledged to invest something of four and a half billion dollars over the next four years into its electric fleet and by 2020 about 40% of the models in Ford's fleet will have an electric option of some kind.